Treating relapsing MS is a little more flexible with the key symptom sensor ready pen. Let's take a look. Today, we'll be talking about the Key Simta Sensor Ready Pen, an auto injector that you use once a month. Now, when some people hear the word auto injector or injection, they might feel a little nervous. Here are three reasons it's worth considering. The Sensor Ready Pen was designed so you hear a click when the injection starts, and another click when it's almost complete. Plus, a green indicator fills the viewing window and stops moving once it's done. So you don't have to guess when it's finished. This auto injector was also designed with a needle guard to keep the needle hidden the whole time. The injection usually takes several seconds and you won't even see the needle while you're injecting. Now it's an injection just under the skin for a reason, precise delivery. This method allows Kesimpta to target B cells in the lymph nodes thought to play a role in relapsing MS. Third, the Kesimpta Sensor Ready Pen gives you flexibility. Since you take it once a month at home or wherever you go with a cooler or refrigeration, there is no planning your day around infusions. Don't forget to pack your sharps container, alcohol swabs, and cotton balls. Even though you do your injections at home, you're never alone. When you sign up with Alongside Key Simta, you get a dedicated coordinator to support you. As an Alongside Key Simta coordinator, I help provide additional training on the Key Simta Sensor Ready Pen over the phone or by video chat. Whether you're at home or traveling, I'm always here to answer your questions. Okay, so let's recap. With its design, precise delivery, and flexibility, the Key Simta Sensor Ready Pen might be worth considering. If you want to know more about how to use the Key Simta Sensor Ready Pen, check out our Quick Tips video and talk to your doctor about Key Simta. Bye for now. Indication: What is Key Simta Ofatumumab injection? Kesimpta is a prescription medicine used to treat adults with relapsing forms of multiple sclerosis, MS, including clinically isolated syndrome, CIS, relapsing remitting disease, and active secondary progressive disease. It is not known if Kesimpta is safe or effective in children. Important safety information. Who should not take Kesimpta? Do not take Kesimpta if you have an active hepatitis B virus HBV infection, have had an allergic reaction to ofatumumab or life-threatening injection-related reaction to Kesimpta. What is the most important information I should know about Kesimpta? Kesimpta can cause serious side effects such as infections. Serious infections, which can be life-threatening or cause death, can happen during treatment with Kesimpta. If you have an active infection, your healthcare provider, HCP, should delay your treatment with Kesimpta until your infection is gone. Kesimpta taken before or after other medicines that weaken the immune system may increase your risk of getting infections. Tell your HCP right away if you have any infections or get any symptoms including painful and frequent urination, nasal congestion, runny nose, sore throat, fever, chills, cough, or body aches. HBV reactivation. If you have ever had HBV infection, it may become active again during or after treatment with Kesimpta. Reactivation. If this happens, it may cause serious liver problems, including liver failure or death. Before starting Kesimpta, your HCP will do a blood test to check for HBV. They will also continue to monitor you during and after treatment with Kesimpta for HBV. Tell your HCP right away if you get worsening tiredness or yellowing of your skin or the white part of your eyes. Progressive Multifocal Leukoencephalopathy, PML. PML may happen with Kesimpta. PML is a rare, serious brain infection caused by a virus that may get worse over days or weeks. PML can result in death or severe disability. Tell your HCP right away if you have any new or worsening neurologic signs or symptoms. These may include weakness on one side of your body, loss of coordination in arms and legs, vision problems, changes in thinking and memory, which may lead to confusion and personality changes. Weakened Immune System Kesimpta taken before or after other medicines that weaken the immune system could increase your risk of getting infections. Before you take Kesimpta, tell your HCP about all your medical conditions, including if you 
have or think you have an infection including HBV or PML, have ever taken, currently take, or plan to take medicines that affect your immune system. These medicines could increase your risk of getting an infection, have had a recent vaccination or are scheduled to receive any vaccinations. You should receive any required live or live attenuated vaccines at least four weeks before you start treatment with Kesimpta. You should not receive live or live attenuated vaccines while you are being treated with Kesimpta and until your HCP tells you that your immune system is no longer weakened. Whenever possible, you should receive any non-live vaccines at least two weeks before you start treatment with Kesimpta. Talk to your HCP about vaccinations for your baby if you used Kesimpta during your pregnancy are pregnant, think that you might be pregnant, or plan to become pregnant. It is not known if Kesimpta will harm your unborn baby. Females who can become pregnant should use birth control, contraception, during treatment with Kesimpta and for six months after your last treatment. Talk with your HCP about what birth control method is right for you during this time. Are breastfeeding or plan to breastfeed? It is not known if Kesimpta passes into your breast milk. Talk to your HCP about the best way to feed your baby if you take Kesimpta. Tell your HCP about all the medicines you take, including prescription and over-the-counter medicines, vitamins, and herbal supplements. How should I use Kesimpta? See the detailed instructions for use that comes with Kesimpta for information about how to prepare and inject a dose of Kesimpta and how to properly throw away, dispose of, Used Kesimpta Sensoready pens or pre-filled syringes. Use Kesimpta exactly as your HCP tells you to use it. Your HCP will show you how to prepare and inject Kesimpta the right way before you use it for the first time. Do not inject into areas where the skin is tender, bruised, red, scaly, or hard. Avoid areas with moles, scars, or stretch marks. Kesimpta may cause serious side effects, including... Injection-related reactions. Injection-related reactions are a common side effect of Kesimpta. Injecting Kesimpta can cause injection-related reactions that can happen within 24 hours, one day, following the first injections and with later injections. There are two kinds of reactions, at or near the injection site. Redness of the skin, swelling, itching, and pain. Talk to your HCP if you have any of these signs and symptoms that may happen when certain substances are released in your body. Fever, headache, pain in the muscles, chills, tiredness, rash, hives, trouble breathing, swelling of the face, eyelids, lips, mouth, tongue and throat, and feeling faint or chest tightness. Contact your HCP right away if you experience any of these signs and symptoms, especially if they become worse or you have new severe signs of reactions after subsequent injections. It could be a sign of an allergic reaction, which can be serious. Low immunoglobulins. Key symptom may cause a decrease in some types of antibodies. Your HCP will do blood tests to check your blood immunoglobulin levels. The most common side effects of key symptom include upper respiratory tract infection with symptoms such as sore throat and runny nose and headache. Headache. You are encouraged to report negative side effects of prescription drugs to the FDA. Visit www.fda.gov slash medwatch or call 1-800-FDA-1088. Please see full prescribing information, including medication guide, on this site or at www.kesimpta.com.